Hey there everyone, I thought that I would show you guys my hair care routine since lighter hair does require a little bit more maintenance. So I thought it might be helpful to show you the products that I use in between visits to my hairdresser. The shampoo and conditioner that I use is actually a line that my hairdresser customly designed and sells in her salon. And it comes in a box like this, which is really cute and it has a little bow on the top. I've actually shown these products in another video of mine, but that was before I had used them. Now that I've used them, I feel like I know a little bit more about them. So I just got a new set. So once again, this is what the box looks like. So the set comes with the shampoo, the conditioner, and the keratin treatment. And what I love about this set is all the products smell the same and they smell amazing. And that's actually one of the reasons why I love this set so much. What I really wanted to talk about is how much I love this conditioner because it's really lightweight, it doesn't weigh my hair down, but it makes my hair feel so soft, which is really important after having bleached hair because sometimes it can end up feeling like straw. Mine doesn't feel like that because I don't get it bleached too often and also because I do take pretty good care of it. The keratin treatment is sort of just like a really heavy duty conditioner. It can be used in a couple different ways. It could be used as a hair mask, and it can also be used as a substitute for conditioner in the shower. Personally, I like to substitute this in for my normal conditioner about once every two weeks. So that's how I use this one. A product that a lot of people swear by when they have lighter hair is using a purple shampoo or conditioner or both. This one is by AG and it's called Sterling Silver Conditioner. And it's supposed to tone out the brassiness of your hair. I'm not exactly sure how effective it is, but I've been using it for a long time and it also smells really good, so I still use it about every second day. I try to mix it in with my daily conditioner like this one. And like I said, I'm not sure how effective it is. If you have seen any difference while using this product, let me know. I can't really compare the color of my hair from when I not use it to when I do use it because I've pretty much used it ever since I've been blonde. So if you have noticed any differences between not using any purple toning products versus then using purple toning products, please let me know in the description box because I really have no idea how effective this is. It might just be one of those buzz products, but I still use it and um, these bottles are pretty expensive. So if I don't have to buy another one, then I will not be really upset about it. After I get out of the shower, I don't use that many products. However, if I do use a heat protective treatment, it's my Chi Iron Guard Spray. I don't have it here with me, but I have shown it in some of my other videos. And uh, if I'm straightening my hair, I like to use some product to smooth out the ends. So this is one that I like. I know I've showed this so many times before, but it's this Smoothing Luster Lotion by Got To Be. And the other thing that I'll use sometimes is Moroccan oil. So I won't use both, but I will use one or the other. But I will only use it on my ends because I don't really like having products near the scalp of my head. I actually don't even use conditioner on the scalp of my hair because like I said earlier, I don't like using any products that will weigh my hair down and obviously the volume is most important at the top of my head. So I really, really minimize the products that I use there. Anyway, I hope that my hair care routine helped if any of you guys are considering going a lighter blonde shade. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.